Good morning! I've got an alter ego today. No more Isabel. I'm Charlotte girl. This is my new ski persona. What do you think? Welcome to the French Alps. We are in Chamonix this morning. We are in amongst the mountains. They're all snow capped. There are paragliders landing just outside the van. It uh, seems like a really cool place. So we're going to go and explore it today. There is something about a mountain that brings me a lot of joy. The town of Chamonix is a magnet for people into extreme sports. There's paragliders, there's mountain bikers, there's skiers, and that is because we're so nestled in amongst the mountains. This behind us is Mont Blanc, the tallest mountain in Europe. I think I've stumbled upon my heaven. I'm actually drag Isabel away from the market. <laughs> And um, we're gonna go find some breakfast, I think. Quick we? breakfast before we go up very high. <laughs> we have not spent much money on this trip so far, but we have splashed out today. We're actually gonna be getting a gondola all the way up to one of these peaks up here. Uh, it's pretty much like the highest place you can get to in Europe without climbing. This is the life. We got some vegan granola. So cool, like looking up, seeing that. It is pretty busy here in Chamonix today, but the sun is shining, it's gorgeous. And to walk around with this backdrop is incredible. Every single sports shop seems to be having a sale and progress through town is very slow. Isabel has to check every single clothing shop to see if she can find anything. We're heading to Greece, we don't need to be buying ski coats. My eyes are like popping, I can't, I want to go shopping, but I shouldn't. <laughs> when we woke up this morning, I did get that bit in my stomach excitement because we're about to go and do something different and exciting. But now I'm approaching it, I am getting a bit nervous, I've got a few butterflies because I've heard that it's not for people who are afraid of heights. I have got a bit of a fear of heights. You know me and Tom love the mountains and this feels like a special treat because normally we hike up the mountain, but I'm actually quite excited to do something different and get the gondola. And it's kind of hard to comprehend that we are going to be going up 2,800 meters in altitude just on a gondola when we would take days and days, weeks to climb that much in Nepal. I'm excited. Number 46 is called, Yay, that's our number. We're going up. It is really busy coming onto the gondola. Everyone's got skis with them, so it should be fairly quiet on the way down. And uh, oh, hopefully we'll get a better FOMO view. Though. I want to go skiing. <laughs> a little bit nervous. Very excited though. We're in. We're very squashed in. There's like 50 people in here. Oh, we're going. That's scary. <laughs> So cool. <laughs> it's really cool. It's a lot easier than hiking up, that's for certain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my ears have popped like five times already. We're going up through the high trees in the mountains. Whoa! <laughs> it's really rocky. That's normal. <laughs> Woo! That's like a roller coaster. We've reached the top of the first section of cable car and we're already level with most of the peaks around. You're looking out at like level with the peaks and it's taken us what two minutes to get up there. It's kind of crazy. Wow, we're like right up in amongst the snow now. Got front seats on this one. Oh wow, look at these people down there, they're tiny. We are just heading towards this massive cliff of rock in front of us. And we're going to have to go vertical like quite a lot if we're not going to collide with the cliff face. Oh, it's icy down there. Oh my god, this is amazing. You can definitely feel that the air is thinner up here. It's just a slight burn in your lungs. Wow, 
This is amazing, we've just stepped off the gondola and we are now in amongst the mountains. We are at 4,000 meters ish and the peaks just stretch out are all around us and it is cold and bright. It's amazing that they built this here, like the effort to make this in the, in the rocks. I wasn't actually expecting to feel the altitude this much, but I'm really out of breath coming up those stairs. Definitely feel it in my lungs. So walking up to this edge, I wasn't quite ready for a, a view I was greeted with. I'd fall almost straight back down to where we came from. Wow, incredible. Yeah. And this behind us is Mont Blanc the tallest mountain in Europe. Ooh. Climbing the mountains in Nepal, I felt like we earned the views. This is a little easier to get up, but equally spectacular. We are pretty high, but we can't actually continue our ascent up to here. We've just caught an elevator up through the middle of the mountain and up to this higher peak. And there is a glass floor here, apparently, where you can look down. Oh, uh, I feel dizzy. Yeah? Oh yeah, I just lost my talking about glass floors. <laughs> it's called Step Into The Void. So this is our high point, 3,842 meters. Wow, it's stunning up here. Yeah. It's, it's amazing if you can get to experience the mountains, uh, even if you're not someone who can <laughs> yeah, that's true. dedicate time and uh, fitness to climbing one of these huge mountains. In summer, you can catch a second gondola or a third gondola uh, across this glacier here and that actually takes you into Italy. This is Italy just over here. I hope I'm not going to be too much of a wimp on this glass box and now I've queued. I've got to, do, I've got to prove it to myself I can do it. <laughs> Apparently it's a thousand meter drop down. We said we've gone in search of the sun. I mean, it is sunny, but we can't help ourselves. We always gravitate towards these freezing places. It is bitterly cold. Someone did bring gloves. I know. Zane fault. So if you come up here, make sure you wear really warm clothes because it was kind of hard to believe when we were down at the bottom it said it was going to be minus 15 because it was just, it was warm down there it was yeah, t-shirt weather these ah, i'm glad i bought all these layers standing in queue in the wind is tough <laughs> yeah this is like i'm near my limit now my hands are numb it's painful yay we're in the warm oh it was start, it was reminding me of when we were on top of gokyo ri and it was so beautiful but it was getting to that point of uh, your body is just all you can think about is that you're cold and you kind of stop taking in the view. We get a little taste of glass floor while we're waiting. We are nearing the front of the queue and you know, I think it says no cameras allowed. Hopefully we can film from outside of the ledge. Uh, it also says you have to wear slippers, so I'm not sure what that's about. Slippers are imperative. I'm actually like quite nervous. My heart is racing. I feel a little bit like wobbly. I got to do it, guys. I've got to step into the void. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I oh, actually don't think I can look down. I know that's the whole experience, but I'm gonna just look up. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I'm not gonna look down. I can't look down. I can't look down. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. Wow! Look at that down there. Wow! Come on, hands. <laughs> that was so scary. <laughs> I'm really, really shaky. I shut my hand. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> it, was, it was a good drop though. We're literally in like an ice cave. <laughs> wow, really cool. If we had our skis, this is where we'd head off into the mountain. We have spent a good few hours up here now exploring all these different platforms. So I think we're gonna head down. We got up here about 12 and now it's about three and the clouds are rolling in. So I think it's time to head down the mountain and I'm really hungry. It has been incredible. I think it's worth the money to yeah, be honest. Yeah, I think so. I've really enjoyed it. It's it is really expensive, cool. but it's not every day you're doing it, so. And we are back down the bottom. <laughs> it is just so weird being down in like what well, is a really sunny, warm day now. Like an hour ago, we were freezing. <laughs> I am getting very hungry though. And uh, we've been told that the thing to do in Chamonix is to get a hot dog. So we're gonna go and search for a vegan hot dog. 
Chamonix is busy. It is a Saturday and it's Easter holidays. Slightly gutted because they've sold out of vegan sausages so we've got falafel wraps coming instead. No hot dogs, but look at this hummus wrap. Hummus and falafel, it looks so good. And the view, <laughs> wow. The clouds have rolled in where we were earlier. We can't even see where it was now. So I'm glad we had the weather we did. It's been glorious and it is really warm down here. Au revoir, Chamonix. Au revoir, Mont Blanc. We've moved on. We've moved to a new country, guys. We are now in Italy. We are making progress with our plan to get further south. So the plan is really to try and find the sun, but Italy has not been living up to the hype of this sunny country. It's actually really cold and grey at the moment. These hills behind us have snow on. Uh, they didn't have snow on last night when we went to sleep. It's been really rainy all day. The rain has actually just stopped for like the first time. So we've ventured out of the van. Yay, you can stretch uh, our legs. But it hasn't all been bad because while we were in France, we stopped off at Izzy's cousins and we had ordered a Starlink, which you can see on top of the van. But has meant that we've had internet and it is unlimited and super fast. It is pretty pricey, but we make well money online. So we need some good internet. It's kind of cool with Starlink. We'll, we'll let you guys know if we think it's worth it. It looks quite smart on top of the roof there. Maybe have a think about how to get it more permanently mounted on the roof. But yeah, I was expecting it to be a little bit warmer in Italy, but we must be in a little bit of a cold spell. You get a month trialing it out. So we'll let you guys know how we get on. Um, it's quite a bulky <laughs> addition to the van. We, and as you know, we don't have too much space in here. So if you see us on the road, you can you can log yeah, into our yeah. Wi-Fi. <laughs> we bought... You stole my thing. <laughs> we... Uh, we uh, drove here via the Mont Blanc tunnel. We're in the tunnel, we're going into Italy. And because we're amazing YouTubers, we managed to get our camera in the back. So we're filming a bit on our phone. Um, we are heading into Italy and we're going under Mont Blanc. We didn't really do any research um, and we've just been charged 68 pounds to go through this tunnel. 68 pounds. 69 oh, euros. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it cut our time in by about half going yeah. through that tunnel and I going think, on the toll roads. I think we drove six hours and without tolls it was 12 hours. So. Yeah. We also had some really good news while we've been sat here in the rain. Yeah. We've reached 50,000 uh, we've reached 50,000 subscribers. Yay! Um, woo! Thanks guys, yeah, thank thanks you so everyone. much. Thank you for subscribing. It's really exciting. Um, we, I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it. It's just crazy. It's like a number that has stopped making sense to me. It's such a huge amount. Uh, it's 10% of the population of Cornwall. That's bad. Really? Yeah. Wow. We had a plan to do something when we got to 50,000 subscribers, but we got there too bloody quick, didn't we? <laughs> so we haven't got it finished yet. We're hopefully going to launch some merch and uh, you'll be able to buy that and then all the money we make from that, we're hoping to give to a charity. We weren't expecting to get to 50,000 subscribers this quickly, so yeah, it's not ready yet, but hopefully you guys will like it. We're really excited. Thank you, yeah, thank you, thank you. It's, yeah. it's really cool. Um, hopefully you continue to enjoy our videos and continue to subscribe. Well, that's everything, really. It's a bit of a shorter one this week. It's been a bit of a uh, hectic, crazy week. Yeah, lots of driving, but now we're hoping that we can slow down a little bit. Cause we kind of had underestimated how big France was and how long it was going to take us to get across the country. Mm. We like to go slower, but we are having to go faster because of the Schengen visa. But we're hoping now we've got f into Italy, we can slow down a bit and, and enjoy it's going to be sun. so sunny. Yeah. <laughs> we are in Italia. Buongiorno, Italia. Buongiorno, Italia. Buongiorno from Italia. Driven down to Italia. <laughs> okay, that was a bit of a dead. Right, uh, we, we, 